Hi, it's Ben Archer Page here, and in this video I'll be reviewing the LEGO Overwatch Tracer vs Widowmaker set number 75970. So here's the first minifigure of the set, and the first minifigure of the set is Tracer. Now overall, I really like this minifig. First of all, I really like the face print because it really fits with the personality of the character. Secondly, I really like the torso print because it looks really intricate and well detailed, and really accurate to the game. I also really like the hairpiece because it's an exclusive hairpiece and it looks really accurate to how the character looks in the game. Around the back of this minifig there's a really great torso print and an alternate face. This minifig also comes with two pistols and a neck brace piece with a lightning bolt at the back to show her speed powers. So here is the second minifig of the set, and the second minifig of the set is Widowmaker. Now overall this is a really cool minifig, however there are some small details that I don't really like. First of all, I really wish that the leg printing went onto the sides and the back, because it doesn't look as good with it just being on the front. It would look a lot more accurate if the printing went all the way around. It would also just look a lot better in general. I also wish that the arms were done in black, because I feel like that would look a lot more accurate to how the character looks in game. However, beyond those two minor flaws, this minifig does look really cool. I especially like the torso print because it's really intricate, and looks really accurate to how the character looks in game. I also really like the face print because it fits really well with the personality of Widowmaker, and it looks really stern and serious. One final thing that I really like about this minifig is the hairpiece, because it has the headband on the front that is in a metallic uh, gunmetal grey, and that just looks really cool and has a really nice shine to it. I also really like that there's all the lights on the front that are meant to represent spider's eyes, and it's dual moulded, so it also has the hair at the back that is in a purple colour. So in general that just looks really cool. Around the back of this minifig there's a really good alternate torso print that looks really well detailed, and there's an alternate facial expression where Widowmaker's looking slightly smug, and she has one eye shut because she's looking down the scope of her sniper rifle. This minifig also comes with her sniper rifle, which unfortunately looks a little bit blocky. Here is the main build of the set, and the main build of the set is the payload for Watchpoint Gibraltar. Overall this is a really cool build. Firstly, it just looks really unique. In general, LEGO doesn't make that many small space shuttle builds, and therefore this one stands out. Secondly, there are lots of really nice details to this. First of all, I really like the um, build for the thrusters at the back, because those look really cool and well detailed. There's even some detail around the back of those. And I also really like the front of the build, because it's easily recognisable, even though it uses very few pieces. And I also really like the stickers, even though they are stickers, they do add a lot of detail, such as the Overwatch symbols. Thirdly, I do want to point out how accurate this looks to the game. From the design, to the colours, to the details, to the shape, just in general, it looks really accurate and exactly how the payload looks in-game. Finally, I do want to point out that if you take off these two tiles in the centre of the build, you can put a minifig inside and they can ride in the payload. Now whilst that's not accurate to the game, it's a pretty cool feature, and you can easily cover it up if you don't want to use it. This set also includes this piece, which is a stand for the payload, which makes it easier to move it along the ground, or a table, or wherever you're moving it along. And it also has some really nice printing to it, which says WPG, Drone Charge Station, and it also shows some rust, some dents, and just in general, it's a really cool printed piece that's included in a set. And also it serves a purpose, which is to make it easier to move the payload around. That's it for this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe.